everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gourmet Hot Plate. Thanks again to Sue Chef Sinet for showing us how to make his delicious fried rice last episode. Today, we're going to make something totally Italian, very appropriate. We're going to learn how to make meatballs. Now these meat meatballs are a little bit different from your standard Italian meatballs, although I do think my nonas would still approve of this recipe. I actually got this recipe off of MarthaStewart.com, pretty awesome site, you should check it out. And what's different uh, mainly is that these meatballs are made with panko breadcrumbs. So they're more typical for Asian cooking. Yeah, you can find them anywhere in the US too, really. So I modified the recipe a little bit from online according to what ingredients are available to me here in Shanghai. And uh, this recipe that I'm going to show you tonight is for four people. So what you need first is ground beef and ground pork, eight ounces of each. And then you're going to need your panko, about a cup and a half, and one large egg. These eggs we bought here are like tiny, so I'm using three. And then you're going to need the zest of one lemon, and then afterward you're going to need about a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. We're also going to need one clove of minced garlic and then some rosemary. That's what the original recipe calls for, one teaspoon of fresh rosemary, but it's a little bit expensive here in Shanghai, so I found this Italian herb mix, very convenient. It's a little bit of everything, and since it's dried, I'm only going to use half a teaspoon. And it's really tasty with this too, so if you want to go ahead and use something like this, go for it. And then for flavors, some black pepper and some salt. So this is for the meatballs, and then, you know, you can make spaghetti with your meatballs, or you can make meatball subs, that's what we're going to do tonight. Or even just, like, meatballs, some breadsticks, good stuff. So I bought some garlic baguette. For the sauce, I have some cherry tomatoes here, and I'm going to crush them up, and just add some olive oil, and I'll show you that later. Really simple. You could also use canned sauce to make your life easier, too. Um, spaghetti is a little bit more difficult with a hot plate. Since you can't be making the spaghetti at the same time as the meatballs, you're going to want to make your meatballs first, and the sauce, and then leave it to the side, cover it so it stays warm, and then boil your water and make your pasta. So we're just going to do the sandwiches tonight, make it easier. Okay, so I got my meat in here, then I'm going to add my breadcrumbs. I'm going to add the zest, the lemon. I don't have a big mixing bowl, so I use our pot. And then about a tablespoon of the lemon juice. I'm just going to eyeball it here. All right, now I'm going to add the minced garlic. Crack up our eggs. Actually, you should... Um, Pre-beat them before, but just lightly. So I'm salvaging it here. That way it'll be easier to mix it all together. I'm a salvaging. Okay. Oops. You know, we make do. Okay. And then we're going to take, like I said, half a teaspoon of these dried herbs. Got my trusty measuring spoons. Mm. We're almost out. Sad. Okay. And then about half a teaspoon of black pepper as well. And half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, that's good. Okay, voila. Now the fun part. Mix it with your hands. Nice. So you can't be afraid to get dirty. And this is why you also need a big bowl. Okay, so now that everything is mixed, we're going to go ahead and form the meatballs. To get the right amount, I'm going to use a measuring spoon for one tablespoon. I'm just going to take the meat, you know, approximately. This makes your life easier. Get a nice little ball. Hmm. Pretty. Okay, so like I said, this is going to serve about four people, two if one of those people is actually Sunette. 
but you know, meatballs actually make good leftovers and what you can do is, you know, make a lot and have spaghetti and meatballs and then afterwards, the next day, have meatball subs, change it up with some mozzarella on top, it's really good. Alright, so we'll see how many this makes exactly. I'm going to continue here rolling my meatballs and then I'll check back with you by the hot plate. And voila, 29 lovely meatballs. I heated our pan. I'm going to put some olive oil in there. Unfortunately, our pan is not non-stick, so it makes it a little bit more annoying when cooking things like meatballs because it'll get stuck at the bottom and fall apart a little bit. So, you know, in the end, it all tastes the same, and then the meat just becomes part of the sauce. But um, obviously back home, if you have a non-stick pan, you want to use that. They'll turn out much prettier. So the olives get heat up, and for the first thing I'm going to do is just brown them for about 10 minutes. Okay, starting to sizzle so it's ready. And then again, if they start getting stuck, I can always add a little bit more oil. Normally, you want to cook these at medium to high, but... I'm going to do it lower so that they don't get stuck. Alright, so as you can see, they've gotten a little brown, a little crispy. They're about ready. I'm going to turn off the heat for now. And I'm going to transfer them out of the pan because I need to make the sauce. So if you're using a pre-made sauce, then it'll be easy. You just leave them in here and you're going to pour the sauce directly over. But all I have today is some cherry tomatoes. So not ideal because they'll have the, the peel in there, but it'll still be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and work with the sauce first. Okay, so I've taken out our meatballs and now I've added some garlic to our pan, the same pan here. I'm gonna cook that just for about a minute. And then I'm gonna add our canned tomatoes so I can get the sauce cooking. So like normally when you make a sauce, kind of like a whole day thing or you know takes a couple hours but this is like a fast version so trust me it's still delicious okay I'm gonna go ahead and add that in okay now I'm gonna squish all the little cherry tomatoes in here get the juice out of them be careful you don't squirt yourself it's very possible now it's quite bitter just by itself so I'm gonna add some salt and actually a little bit of sugar take that bitter taste away. Yeah, just eyeball it. It's all good. That's the fun part about cooking. And then you want to bring it to a boil. Add some olive oil. And you can add some of that dried herb mix if you want. Just a little bit. And if you like it spicy, like an arrabbiata sauce, you can add some fresh red chili flakes. Just gonna add a little bit. As you're cooking it, you know, have a taste. See if you like it. You can add more salt. Add some pepper. You can just let it cook for a couple of minutes. You know, it's really hard to overcook the sauce. So if you want it to get the flavors more. Okay, I think that's good because now we got to put the meatballs back in and we got to cook everything together because the meatballs are not fully cooked yet. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the simmer and then I'm going to cover it for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, so they've been simmering away. Now you're going to check if they're cooked. Cut one up in half. Make sure it's not red. That one looks pretty good. So if you're making spaghetti, you can just take them out, you know, serve them with your spaghetti or afterward. We're going to make it with the sandwiches. So if you want, you can add some cheese along the top. I've got a little bit here, some leftover mozzarella. And then this way, if you add it while it's still in the pan, it'll melt better. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in 
in our bowl. Nice and melty, the cheese. Looking good. Depending how saucy you like it, you can always make more sauce. We have a lot of meatballs here. Alright, so there you have it. It's not the fastest meal overall, but it is a great dish, very tasty, and like I said before, makes good leftovers. Usually pasta doesn't make good leftovers, but meatballs, it's good stuff. Ooh, I love cheese. <sighs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Got my garlic bread. Bon appetit. <laughs>